It is 4.30 and this is where I'm starting this 24 hour process of bringing you along with my day. Starting with putting my waters in the car for tomorrow. Excited to bring you along with me to my day tomorrow. I love these sort of videos. I feel like you can learn so much about different folks and what works for different people. For the last probably three months since I stopped sawmilling and stopped like <laughs> all the pictures for the Bronco business and all the, all, the, all the side stuff. For the past three months, this is my typical day. We're gonna do the family thing tonight, go to sleep, and I will see you in the morning. Well, good morning. So it is currently snowing. It's our first snowfall. No, that's not true. It's our second snowfall of the year. We had one, I want to say around November. It was pretty early in the season. Anywho, so today was an early morning. It is 1.20. I've been waking up on my own for more than a year now it ranges when i first started doing this it would be like around three or four in the morning and then it keeps creeping earlier and earlier and these days it bounces between the early mornings are around 1 1 30 and the later mornings like if, if it's like 2 30 i feel like i'm late for the day and i'm like i lost an hour of productivity for the day Anywho, today happened to be trash day, so I need to drop off the trash. I have the trash from the office in the back. You can drop that off. Um, but this is, so So I've been doing the early wake up thing for a little over a year, but this is my typical day as of the last three months. So, sorry, I, I didn't want the microphone to be, the fuzzy microphone to be in the, Anyhow, so this is my typical day as of the last about three months because three months ago I stopped sawmilling and before that it was like, you know, working on Bronco stuff and taking all the photos and doing this and doing that and just all the distractions. So this is my typical day as of the last three months. Of course, before that I lived under babies, so I didn't dream of doing videos like this, but this is... I like these sort of videos. I think you can learn a lot about somebody, just how they live their life and, and how they choose to spend their time. I mean, that's what your what your life is. It's how you spend your time, how you spend your day, how you construct things, how you, how you do. And, and I learn from these videos and and um, it's just it's just fun and interesting. And, and so here's my take on it. We well, gotta drop off the cat, uh, off the, the trash. <laughs> uh, we already have a bar on the heater. So this, I, so now that, it, because it's a winter time, I sit in here until I get a bar on the temperature and then I make my way on. Hey, we're up to two bars. <laughs> All right, on to the office. So with Daisy's birthday pictures, I have been hoping for snow. You know, we've done, we've, we've looked at that snow pictures for her birthday every year. Um, we haven't gotten a good snowfall though this year for it. And it's not sticking now. So, actually the other day I was like, where do I need to fly this girl in order to get snow pictures? And it snowed the, the night that she was born, it was snowing. So she's truly a snow baby. And like I said, we've looked out every year with her birthday pictures and we've, we've gotten, you know, we've done the whole snow thing which is really, it's just special. And her little nose turns, turns, you know, uh, red. <laughs> and it's just sweet. I mean, we go out and it's like two minutes and you know, she's cold and it's sweet and, and it's just, just sweet little pictures. But anyway, on to the office. I, driving through, um, 
it's just it's kind of special our little mountain town everyone's obviously asleep and right now it's in the winter time so we've got remnants of christmas decorations it's just it's fun our library oh my gosh we have the most beautiful library i'll have to show you guys the lights and the christmas stuff that they do and then they decorate the hillside for like all the holidays so there will be up and down the hillside just like where you see where the trees are and they'll do all these uh all the american flags there for the fourth of july or for uh, memorial day um yeah so you see the cops which i very much appreciate i actually called um i actually called the police on the police one night because i was you know in the middle of the night and i was sitting by the by the computer and there's these big old windows and um next thing I know I've got somebody shining a flashlight at me and I can't see a damn thing but this stupid flashlight right and I just freeze because now I'm sitting there I can't see because it's it's dark out and the flashlight's being shown at me and I'm just sitting there at the computer and I'm like oh my gosh I don't know who this person and and it's not that's the only time that I know of that the police have done this they walked the little and I then I heard the person not knowing who they were, for the person walking between my building and the next one. So my office is on like a Main Street type setup, although I'm not open to the public. It's on a Main Street type setup. And, um, and so I'm like calling out the oh, who is this? You got somebody drive by, blah, blah, blah. And then she's checking and she's like, oh, that's one of us. We're good. <laughs> and actually, it's funny because he, um, He's actually, so the policeman is actually, uh, that I called the police on, is actually a father of uh, his kiddo goes to scouts with Audrey. And so what, he's giving me crap about it. <laughs> oh, it's all right. At least it was him and not like some booger. <laughs> So then this is the part of the morning where I put my stuff away and, and I just I just, get, I just get to it. This is like precious time because everyone is asleep and, and you don't have to worry about anything. Like you don't need to do breakfast. You don't like I make a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, but just because really it's cold outside. But um, there, I mean, there's been there's been times I go without. I, I'm by no means tied to coffee. I'm happy to do decaf, like all the things. Um, not that there's anything. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Okay, right now the goal is to put my stuff away and get to it. That is what I'm trying to say. Also in the morning is when I do some skincare, which is fun. I have no idea what I'm doing, so don't ask me. But I just play around with it. I read the reviews, and I hope for the best. <laughs> so, so that is that. Now I rinse off what I put on before. So my office, don't mind the space overlook so I, i'm grateful for the space it's allowed me to do a lot of stuff it's not at all like i have visions of what i would like my dream space to be and this is stuff that i'm just working towards it's good stuff it's goals but as far as aesthetics just 
just like just kind of don't don't mind it i try to you know i keep it as as, as picked up and whatever but aesthetically she's she's not where yeah it, it's fine all right so uh, currently because i'm fun at parties i've got two face masks to choose from i did my blueberry one yesterday so today is going to be this pink marshmallow thing see like pink marshmallow isn't that fun so I do this, this is the last thing before I sit down for like a session. Basically in the mornings, um, okay, so I used to, let me try to do with this number. I used to like, oh, hold on. I'm missing a step. Hold that thought. You gotta put this guy on so all the little, all the little straggly hairs don't get in your face mask. You see? This is experience talking for you. Fun at parties. <laughs> so I used to block off my day and you know, and, and between this time and this time, and I'm gonna be doing this and this time and this time. And I mean, this is something that I have been doing since middle school, high school, <laughs> because I've been at fun at parties for a very long time. And I, be, I was doing that block off thing. Um, I mean, kids kind of threw a wrench into a lot of stuff you know you know um now i gotta rinse this guy off i try to get as much of the face mask off on my face that's how that works then i give this guy a rinse off he gets put up to dry so i used to do the whole block off thing and as of late i just don't need to so i have big picture always like humming around in the back of my mind of of, you know, big picture goals and, and like things at the large scale of where I want to go and what my dreams are and what I want to achieve. And then, uh, you know, there's kind of like this intermediate layer of like, okay, so what does that look like project wise? Like what projects do I, should, you know, should I be working on in order to achieve the big goals? And then once you once you establish what projects you're gonna be working on, then you just have the tangible pieces to complete those said projects, right? And so as far as projects, I probably have, oh, anywhere between five to 10 projects. Sorry. I probably have anywhere between five to 10 projects going on at once. And, uh, you know, throughout the day as, what I, what I think of the day is, is you've got to work around your biology. You've got to work around your biology. You got to respect your biology. And so it's basically like, how can you do as much as you can working around your biology? And so I'll go between different buckets, whether that's computer work, hand sewing, machine sewing, straightening up the office again so I can get back to the projects. Um, you, you know, and computer work looks at various things between websites design like putting together different things on my website versus versus like editing photos i'm way behind editing photos right now uh editing videos just things of that nature computer stuff right so right now it's going to be a bit of focus stuff and i just prioritize it's like i said i don't do blocks anymore i'm just like big picture i got my projects going on what is what is the most important thing next and i do that so so whatever that is, I do that. Because I've been talking to you, I haven't been thinking about that. Um, actually, computer stuff is waiting on an email response. So I think I might do some hand sewing. Oh, tidbit. So whenever I, whenever I can do something and listen in the background, I have been doing languages lately. Um, so French, I've been doing French, I started Italian uh, a few months back, and I just listened to my first Spanish one yesterday, so it's just, it's exciting. You know, I used to think, I used to think that boredom was just a part of life, right? Like, to, to be excited, you need to have, it's the yin and the yang, right? It's, it's, you can't have excitement without some boredom or whatever. And I am reconsidering that thought. Um, Cause I, I, with all this hand work, you sit there for a while and boredom would go around. Even though I love sewing, you know, boredom comes around. But ever since I started listening, working on languages in the background, 
I'm no longer bored. I'm trying to figure out what the hell's being said and the boredom just hasn't come. It's something to like hunt for and like work on. And so I, I don't think that really boredom is, I think boredom is really a sign that you're not, um, that you're not, that's the word I do speak English, that you're not um, challenging yourself. I think that's what boredom, the role of boredom plays, is that you're not challenging yourself enough. Because like I said, I put on some foreign languages and I am no longer bored. So we're going to listen to The Perfect French with Delana. I hope I'm saying that right. Oh, that like, sounds Italian. The Perfect French with Delana. She'll say her name, hold on. Hello everyone and welcome back to The Perfect French with Delana. I love her videos. I do, um, I do the slow sentences. I do the, the, um, the, the one where she does one word at a time. The speaking practices. She has a whole playlist. I'll just put the playlist on. Um, I'll do the listening practice. It's so good, so good. Let's do speaking one. Hello, everyone, and welcome back for a new French speaking practice about shopping. Ce samedi, ma soeur et moi, on va faire du shopping. I've listened to this one a couple of times. <laughs> So morning session is coming to a wrap. It is quarter, t quarter, quarter till six right now. So it's about this time that my morning session comes to a wrap, and I break. I do breakfast, um, which okay. All my food, I try to like do as efficient. That's my whole my whole thing is try to be as efficient with stuff as I can, so I can maximize my amount of time working. Because while Rome wasn't built in a day. If you focus, you can get a lot done within a day. Um, this morning I've got, what was it, three of the One Fabric Bishops putting on, sorry, let me try to get some better lighting. I got three of those One Fabric Bishops buttoned up, quite literally buttoned up, and then I got a small voiceover done for an updated channel, channel trailer. So the One Fabric Bishops, I'm gonna be doing a photo shoot here so here soon for the kiddos because I'm putting together a portfolio. So big picture, like I said, I'm always thinking big picture, big goals. How does that break down into the like tangible pieces? So one of it is putting together the portfolio. I need to get pictures of these anyways, and that's going on the portfolio side of things. The voiceover was for an updated channel trailer because that needs, it just needs an update. So, <laughs> um, so I'm doing that. And um, this morning I'm going to be doing, okay, so with food, I try to do things I want, I want like all of it, right? Like I want the best, like the best nutrition for the price and the time, like if we can balance all three together. So what that basically looks like for me, food is a hot topic, but for me, um, that's like a block of tofu, done, just take it out of the package, done right or you can or I like to batch cook a lot of stuff so right now I've got a batch cook of of kale I did the same thing with collards I mean you can take a bag of frozen broccoli you get the idea you just batch cook something and then pull from it oh soaking beans you can put how cheap and and amazing for your health like just soak a thing of, of beans overnight and then put it in a pressure cooker cook it for five ten minutes now you've got it's just done scoop it out you're good like I just, I just need to feel the, I just need to feel the process. That's exactly how I see food is it's just fuel for the process. So. So before I eat, I do this little air device. Side note, I somehow contracted SIBO. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. It's a bit of a rabbit hole, but I've been on this like really strict protocol for almost seven months now. It seems like I'm finally coming out on the other end. It's been a huge rabbit hole, a whole thing. I don't want to get into it in the video. It's not the point of the video, but that's why I do this before I eat. So, 
And this is also when I try to check in with Charlie. He's at home with the kiddos, obviously. Someone's gotta be home with the kiddos. And he's taken, um, he's taken the reins on that, which has allowed me to do so much here at the office. And so this is the time I say hello. Good morning. And I try to do computer work while I eat because then I won't feel so guilty about eating and not like working. <laughs> um, like then I will, you know, I will chew all of my, like I'll just, I'll take my time. I'll do things right. I'll, I'll work in between bites, all that sort of stuff. I have been guilty of like downing a thing of peanut butter um, so that I can just get as many calories and protein for the amount of time and then get back to work. That's happened on more than one occasion. And that's like, I've gone away from that. And one of the ways I've gone away from that is I can do computer work while I, um, while I eat. So I don't, I, I it's a little more healthier for <laughs> I don't Anywho, <laughs> we all have our vices, right? So let me pull up the voiceover that I just did and I will work on the updated channel trailer. Alright, so the sun has started to join us. You can see we are we're just getting some light in. Um, so this, if I haven't already made up my face to some degree, the sun is kind of like, go put yourself together. And so that's my cue to um, try to get, well, <laughs> it's a common theme, but I try to like be as efficient as I can, get uh, the most use for the time. Like, I mean, okay, here's the thing. In my mind, um, I want to be, how do I want to say this? I want to be polished and in my mind that takes a little bit of makeup. I definitely wear it for myself along with some sunscreen. Where am I going to put this camera? I don't know. Maybe I'll try to makeshift it here. Uh, I, I, so this office, I was saying before, I'm so grateful for it, but it still leaves some stuff to be desired. We just may do. So. Um, okay, here's a little bit of sunscreen because I'm fun at parties. <laughs> oh gosh. But yeah, so I do, I want to be, I, I personally, I would like to be polished. So it's worth the five to 10 minutes to pull something together. I want to do as much bang for my buck time wise so in my mind it's of course you do you all that sort of thing but in my mind i get some color on my lips some blush get some eyebrows some structure does wonders for the face my gosh so this eyebrow is still recovering uh last summer before i injured my knee because i have no idea what i'm doing with life I, I developed runner's knee because I have no idea what I'm doing with life. But before that happened, I was running every day. And um, long story, one of my best runs, my best runs, I was going and I was so just enjoying everything. And before I knew it, before I knew it, I was coming up from having fallen down because I tripped on like a sewer gate was just above where the you know on the sidewalk was just the lip of it was a little above man i was like so in the zone i was feeling so great so high on life all this all the stuff and i mean i hit the pavement and was already like back up and running by the time i realized that I had, it happened so fast anyway so color my lips Um, I still have some eyeshadow from yesterday. So my, for me, like I said, I wear it for me because um, I want to be polished for myself and for other people and that sort of stuff. Uh, the eye thing kind of changes every day. I have no idea what I'm doing with makeup either, either, but I just, I just do. Uh, 
whatever makes me happy. And some days it's a little bit heavier on the eye makeup and some days it's a little bit lighter. Yesterday I did eyeshadow, so I still have some remnants on here. I just kind of like give it a once over to cover up the veins. You know what I mean? And then I'm going to move you because you're sitting on my blush. Excuse me while I reach for my blush. <laughs> oh gosh, it's a little bit of a mess, but you know, that's okay. Oh man, we just like livened up the face over here. I am alive, awake, alert, enthusiastic. So that's done with that. Um, and then as far as mascara, I have, okay, cause I am just so bougie. I mean, look at, look at the bougie setup we have, okay? This is, and I don't use half what's in here. So I have, at the moment, three different mascara options. This is like, you just put on false eyelashes. This is somewhere in the middle, and this is very subtle, but very like, it's one of those moments where you're, you just want, everything's like really defined, but very subtle. It's like, are you wearing mascara or? That's what this does. And then this guy's in between. This guy's actually, this one in particular I've had for a while, so it's not doing the best just because like, I've had it, you know, and it's like kind of like in that, getting empty and the stuff that's in it is getting a little bit dried up and it doesn't perform as well. You know what I mean? I usually do this closer to the mirror. Hold on. I'm not this good. What am I trying? Who am I trying to kid? One second. So, do a little bit of this. And it's usually five minutes. Ten minutes of makeup is like I've tried to do all the things with the eye. That's really where I go to. I, um, I don't do foundation. Not that I'm like morally opposed to it, but on a regular basis. I don't own foundation. You know, I suppose if I were invited to some some major event, I would work it out. Like, I'm not opposed to it or anything, but I don't own it. I rather invest in skincare, which, I mean, I'd rather have good skin than have to cover up bad skin. You know what I mean? Like, I'd rather just have the good skin. And then that, I feel like, maximizes time. And I'd rather... And then you have good skin, you know. So I don't, I don't do that. And uh, what am I trying to say? I forget where I was going with that. Oh, so I have five minutes of makeup because I don't really put on that much makeup. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for some structure. This pencil right here, I have found, since I don't know what I'm doing, I have found this to be the best for all of, the best for my limited skills. Ready? Watch this number. Just wait for it. Kind of my eyebrows, isn't that nice? Yeah, but this one, this is the eyebrow I was telling you about that I, I, I landed on that with the whole running sewer gate thing, and the hair is still in the process of growing back. So that eyebrow in particular needs some TLC, and yeah, I just try to, I try to just maximize. That's that's more or less my makeup every day I just try to maximize things same same with so I shower at night and just try to maximize that as well and I mean I this is my everyday hairdo so, so I have had so many like um haircuts because I'm like I end up putting my hair wadded up on top of my head and then I walk away from the haircut like I get my haircut shorter thinking I'll have a hairdo like a hairstyle right something sophisticated but I walk away from it just kind of like missing my long hair and being able to put it up and I've kind of come to the idea that this is my hairstyle and I'm okay with that it's 
some flavor of polish. So like I'll, I'll shower, I try to shampoo my hair as in, infrequently as possible because that's just more time and, and why. And then I'll put in some curl mousse so I don't have like the frizzy thing. It's just a best best use of time in my opinion. And then I let it dry naturally because what's the point in blow drying it? That's just more time away from doing my work. So, oh my God, there's like a theme. Are you guys noticing a theme? Um, so then I'll, you know, just wash my face, brush my teeth, I mean floss, brush my teeth, all that, all that stuff. I'll do whatever retinol, you know, things cause I'm 35 and trying not to have face What's, what's the time march across your uh, uh, across your face? So I'm trying to eliminate as reduced as much as possible. I want, I want to age like a fine wine, but I don't want to at all to you know help the process out. It has it does not need any help. Let's face it. So um, oh. <laughs> this is a hot mess. Uh, welcome to the day of my life. <laughs> my version of this hot mess. So yeah, so I mean, do that. I'll put on some face cream, you know, lotion, especially right now lotion because I need all the lotion. It's winter time. And that's it. Like I'm I'm done. I don't need a, you know, whatever. Uh, just always trying to maximize the triangle, the time, the quality, the money. Like trying to maximize, get the best out of all all the worlds. And um so yeah, this is my hairdo. I never paint my nails. There was a phase, if you look uh, back, I don't know, two, three years ago now, there was a phase on the YouTube where I went through painting my nails. I did the gel stuff, like the at home, because it's more cost effective, and I did the gel because it lasts longer. Again, time. Um, and I went through this phase thinking that maybe that might increase my views on YouTubes. It didn't work, but I tried it, you know, checked the box. But at the, this point, like, it's just not worth the time for me. I don't care. I, I need my nails to be functional for sewing and that's it. So I trim them as needed. I try to keep up on the cuticles. It's winter time, so it's pretty harsh. And that's it. That's, you know, say la vie. I also don't spend time, any time on social media. I know I post videos to YouTube, but that's work related. I go to YouTube. I go to YouTube, honestly, for selfish reasons. Like if I want to learn about something. Right now I am all about the language stuff. Although there's like, I was working on a project the other day and I was, it, it led me of like, how were locks built way back in the day and how have they changed? And next thing I know, I'm like, learning the history of locks. So I go to YouTube, like I said, for selfish reasons of just trying to acquire knowledge. It's such a great day and age that we live in that all of this knowledge is just readily available. It's at your fingertips, quite literally at your fingertips. Most of us, like if you don't have access to the internet or a computer, like I feel for you and I hope life, if that's your choice, by all means. But I think that most of us living in the modern age, if you're in that boat, I feel for you and I hope things get better. That being said, like I want to acknowledge, I want to be sensitive, but that being said, I think the vast majority of us and just utilize it, make it work for you. It's like, it's like money, make your money work for you. You know, um, don't just give all of it to Bezos. You know what I'm trying to say. Anywho, so now I have brought myself together. Some days, right now it's cold, it's still snowing. So at this point, I really, I really live my best life in a dress with pockets. That's where life is just the best, like pinnacle of my day, of, of days, is when I get to live in a dress with pockets. That's just like icing on the cake. But today, I don't feel like it's gonna be that day because it is cold. I'm thinking about wrapping my head up. I feel cold. I feel really cold. So I'm gonna get back to, this begins my second block of time. I've had my breakfast, I've put myself together. This begins my second block of time. It's not, same with the first block, none, none of my blocks are designated towards computer or sewing or what have you. It's just what needs to happen next. And right now, I'm gonna be working on this channel trailer. So it is 11 o'clock lunchtime. I'm gonna do a can of pumpkin and some tofu and cocoa powder for lunch, like a chocolate pumpkin tofu situation. I know I'm fun at parties, but it's easy. You just open up a can of, of pumpkin, dump it out, tofu, stir in the 
powder. I mean, it's done. Like as, so I've had this theory for a very long time, this button theory, this three button theory, okay? The idea is that it, everything's optional. So you've got three buttons, one's for showering, one's for eating, and one's for sleeping. Because sometimes it's nice to sleep or shower or have sit down to a nice meal and like you want to, you know, you want to take your time and like do all the stuff, right? But often I just want to be done with those activities. And I really, showering, I can lump in like makeup and getting dressed and like you get, you get my drift, right? I just want to be on the, I just want the result. But I just rather have the time back so I can get back to work. <laughs> so if you could just be full or just be charged instead of like having to spend the hours sleeping like, and get back to it that'd be great so that's been my my theory for like i don't know since high school or something um so i've got my channel trailer done it's uploading i also got a little time lapse of the up balloon it cracked me up i'm like sitting here editing it because I don't know if I actually included that in the video or not. Um, I don't think I did, which is why when I found the footage when I was looking for the channel trailer, I was like, oh, I should just put together this little, so it's just a little fun video um, about sparks flying when you sew. So uh, yeah, that's going up here soon. Um, after lunch, uh, it's another block of concentrated time. I think what I'll do during lunch is I'll edit photos. I'm so behind on editing photos, so I'll do that. That'll be some computer work so I don't like scarf down my food. I don't scarf down my food out of principle because I was under babies for so long and they sort of demanded that I scarf down my food, but still I eat faster than I should. And I know, I know that about me and I know if I pair it with computer work, then I won't do that. So that's what I do and it works for me. After I do the photo editing, then I'm going to finish up some handwork. I've got some projects, some, it's just, it's just, it's always like big picture. How do I get my big picture goals? That, that leads me to the projects. And then once you're at the projects, you know, you only do, like I said, I do five to 10 projects at a time, kind of like balance them as logistics of life uh, allow. And I push them all forward revolving around biology, right? Biology being sleep and and uh, fueling and exercise and all that sort of stuff. Exercise, oh my goodness, it's turned into a beautiful day. Uh, so, typical day, I'm not able to exercise every day because I got into this heap of a mess with my knee. Runner's knee, I didn't know what I was doing. I still don't know what I was doing, but I really didn't know what I was doing. And I just got like, I just further and further, I just, it, I, I poured all the fuel on the fire and I got into a mess with my knee. So I've been trying to get back to exercising slowly and every time I come back, I think I'm doing it really slow and apparently it's not slow enough. But today I get to go for a run because it's been a while. All right, so <laughs> that's a look. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so full of parties. <laughs> So with me getting back into running and trying to avoid injuries, um, I was actually contacted by these folks about a sauna and I'm I'm kind of like in the health space because, well one, I like to feel good in my body. I know, right? But also when you're, when you have your health, you can do all the things like so and other stuff that I want to get back into doing. So I kind of take my health a little seriously. But, um, so, you know, saunas are apparently a healthy thing to do. And so, um, they contacted me and I was like, you know, saunas are healthy and I've got this whole tendon thing. Like, it's checking a bunch of boxes, I think. So, I am doing a little warm up in here. It is warming up. It is, um, I've been cold all day, so this is a really nice change of pace. Oh, wait, hold on. There's pros right here. Uh, oh, y'all got steamy. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so yeah, there's like a container over there. I know my office is a mess, but it's working and it was really easy to put together. Um, just, it comes with a little chair. It comes with little rollers for your feet. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, got a little mat, carpet mat. So I guess this whole container like that I'm, enclosed in is waterproof-ish, but 
then it's got like a uh, pad on the bottom to absorb m moisture. So I don't know. So far, so good. But uh, yeah, when you respect your like that's that's how I how I see life is like you. I try to get as much. That's sort of the goal. Is I try to get as much into my day respecting biology. That's like the only thing. People are like, "Oh, you can do anything you want." No, you gotta respect your biology. Like, <sighs> this is nice. Oh my gosh, this feels so good. This is oddly relaxing. I feel like I had some music playing. I could just drift off. <laughs> it's so fun at parties. <laughs> So, fingers crossed, I don't do more damage. I really enjoy it, it clears my mind, it gives me some creative, like, it just, it allows all the things. So, one day, it's gonna happen where my typical day does include a run, or some exercise of some sort. Um, my knee is in, still in recovery mode. So, after that, it's about 4, 4.30. That's the typically when I wrap up, I go home, refill my water bottles, rinse and repeat the hardest part. The hardest part about the 24 hour cycle, about my 24 hour cycle is relaxing as I go to laying in bed, relaxing and not getting too excited about the projects that wait for me that like I need to get my, my sleep so I can do all the things the next day and not getting too excited about the next day. That's the hardest part. But yeah, I just chill with the family, do the things. Don't get too excited, go to sleep, rinse and repeat. Very, very, very grateful to be, to be here, to be here and this is my typical day. So grateful for it. I hope you learned something, had some fun, got some fun hanging out, got, I don't know. I hope this was valuable in some, some regard. <laughs> Oh, happy 2024. Happy 2024, everybody. I hope it's an amazing 2024 for everyone.